Hi, this is Ria, and I am with the Metro CSG. Have you ever tried of getting the wrong results from an employee survey just because you don't have a streamlined survey form? How many times you were frustrated because you were not getting the actual insights from the survey? Today, I'm going to show you how Microsoft Forms can streamline polls and surveys like employee surveys and help you to collect data and make better decisions. Microsoft Forms is an online survey creator that one can use for whatever purposes, whether it's for business, work, personal, or school. You can create surveys and polls and invite others to respond to it and get their feedback and insights straight from built-in analytics in the response section attached to the survey. You can use web browser or mobile devices to easily capture the information you need. With its easy-to-use interface and tools, you can track feedback from your employees in no time. To access the Microsoft Forms, you can go to Microsoft Forms website and click the Sign In button. So it will prompt you to sign in to your Microsoft or Outlook account. Or you can go to your Office account, click the Apps Launcher and choose Forms. It will prompt you to Forms Dashboard where you can see all the forms that you have made or those that have been shared with you. You can also see the forms that have been added in your groups or channels in your Microsoft Teams. Click the All Forms so you can see all the forms that have been made. For this video, we've made two sample forms. One is a test form and the other one is an employee survey form. So let's check the test form and we'll show you how it looks like when you use a sample one where you can see sample responses that have insights on it. Now let me show you sample employee survey in Microsoft Forms. Let's click this Metro CSG employee survey form that we've made. If you see, we've used our logo, we put a name on it, and we put instructions or descriptions. And then we use sectionings for the questions. And we have different type of questions like star rating, Likert, scaling, choices, and you've used questions where respondents can choose preferences or priorities. For a guide on how to create a survey in Microsoft Forms, please refer our another blog, How to Create Survey in Microsoft Forms, that will be linked in the description box. So in this sample, you can see the insights, just click the button, and other responses. And then you can also click Open in Excel so that you can see all the responses in a table form from the details of the name to the completion time and all of the answers the respondents inputted. Now let me show you how to add a Microsoft form in Teams. Go to your Microsoft Teams and choose the channel you want to use. Click the Add button and click the Forms. Now you have an option to create a shared form that your team can use and edit, or you can add an existing form. For this video, we will add the employee survey form. And you also have an option to collect responses or show results. So we will use Collect Responses and click Save. Now, this will appear in your Microsoft Teams or the channels that you choose, and all the members in the channel can easily answer or respond to the survey. Please note that only the team members in this channel can reply or respond to this survey. If you want to streamline our Microsoft Forms into our Microsoft Teams, let me show you how to create a Power Automate notification when a response is made. Go to your Teams. Choose the three buttons or add more apps, then click Power Automate, and choose Create. 
choose notify your team when the response form is submitted and make sure that you were both logged in in Microsoft Forms and Microsoft Teams, then click Next. Then you can choose the forms that you want to include. This time you'll use the Employee Survey, and then choose the Teams, and choose the Channel. And then click Save, or Create File. It will show you to the dashboard of your Power Automate flows. And let us try to fill up the survey so that we will see if there is really a notification. So let's answer all the survey, all the numbers. Make sure that all of the required fields are answered. Then click Submit. Now it should bring a notification in our post. Now to check, we already have a notification in our videos channel that says there's an update from Microsoft Forms since I've answered or responded to the survey and you have an access to the responses where we can see all the numbers or all the details of the responses being made. That's it. Hope you were able to see how useful Microsoft Forms in your business and personal life and how it can help you making insights into actions. For more productivity and collaboration tips, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.